Hi, I'm Glenn Travis. I'm an architectural designer with Encore Construction. Today I'm going to be meeting with homeowners Kelly and Paul. In today's meeting, we're going to be presenting uh, the floor plans and the elevations, but in particular, I'm excited to share with you uh, the 3D capabilities of our software, because what that does is it really helps you to really visualize the difference between what's there and what your proposed addition and renovation is going to look like. Their kitchen and bathroom were both small and very dated. All right, Paul and Kelly, so let us show you what we've come up with, okay? Excellent. Yeah. So what we do is we start with the existing conditions. So if we take a look at this, this is your existing kitchen, bathroom, and den area. So from a floor plan perspective, does that look like your house? It's exactly yeah. like the house. Yeah, no, okay. yeah. Great. Okay. So let's take a look at the outside of the house. Okay. Wow. <laughs> That's our house. That's your house. No changes really to the front of your house, but again, it's important for us to make sure that uh, down to as many details as we can, that we capture the overall look of the house. That way, when you see the proposed addition, we want to make sure that looks seamless with what's already there. Mm -hmm. All right, so here, this is the bump out for your den, and so this is the area that's going to be removed. And if you notice, too, the bulkhead is right in the middle of where that addition is going to be. Right. So that also is going to be relocated to the side of the house. Then your patio here, again, for our conversations earlier, is going to be adjusted to get the deck area down to a lower patio. Okay. okay. And then what we're going to look at as well is a view that I like to call the dollhouse view. Mm -hmm. We're able to take off the roof in the ceiling and look down into the space. And the reason why we like to use this particular view, it helps you to understand how one room relates to the next room. Now, do you want to see the outside of the... Uh, project first or the inside? Let's do outside yeah, and then go in. Yeah. Yeah. I think sure. that'll be neat. Yeah. So as we wrap around, here's your garage here mm -hmm. and here's the addition on wow. the back of the okay. house. Okay, yeah, that was great. So you that can see how neat. it impacts yep. this mm -hmm. area here. Yeah, and there's the grill. Right, yeah. we made sure we had that for you, Paul. Yeah. And then one of the things I heard in our initial meeting is you wanted to have enough windows in the sitting area just to capture that natural light in that space. Yeah, light so is really important. Mm -hmm. I, I really need to have light, lots of light in the house, don't you? Oh, I agree. Mm. So here we've got three double hung windows mm -hmm. mulled together next to a single French door. So that's going to let a lot of light into that part of the house. And then over here where we've got the sink, and you'll see this from the inside, we've got a double hung window here and also a window here in the bathroom. So it's good for ventilation as well as light. So this mm -hmm. line here, this dotted line, mm -hmm. is where your old wall used to be. So you can see this okay. is what we've added here, okay? Yep. Mm -hmm. So we've taken out the walls and really have given us a great open feel to it. We've oh, yeah. put in some furniture mm -hmm. so you can really get a sense of how well you can use the space. This is a full-size couch, okay. love seat, and a chair. Coming in the garage, you can see you now coming into oh, the mudroom area. Okay. Oh, I was confused. I thought, it, okay, now I see. That's much better. That see is, it? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this is where your yep. door is now, mm -hmm. but when you come in, we have a coat closet. Your laundry is still there. We've got another closet that you can put cubbies for shoes, et cetera, yeah. book bags. Okay, yeah. And then your, your bathroom has been relocated to this area as well. So let me show you the inside. Great. Okay. Overall, here's your, here's your dollhouse view of your kitchen mm -hmm. and sitting room area. I know uh, one of the things that wow. was important that to the both of you is you wanted to see it with white cabinets, mm -hmm. as well as uh, having uh, a hint of cherry somewhere yes. in the space. You want to no, see like camera views inside the space? Sure. sure, yeah. So this is your existing kitchen. Oh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it All is. Right. That's our yes, existing kitchen. Is. And let's take a look at uh, Oh, the it's difference. been fine. Yeah. Oh, oh that goodness. looks great. Oh, there's your TV. There wow. it is. Mm -hmm. Well, you wanted to make sure that you had enough space from this new door that we cut into the living room and this window on this elevation to make sure there was enough room for 50 inches. And you can see you still have some space on either side. So that works out really well. Oh, that's yeah. fine. That's all I need to see. We're, yeah. we're... So how does this view work yeah. for you guys? That it's was, amazing. Yeah. Now, a few things, and I jotted this down when we met together initially yeah. and uh, once this opens up, yeah. is uh, this cased opening, you yeah. weren't sure if you'd like looking into the mudroom. Because right. if you look in this direction, you can see mm -hmm. the closet for the washroom dryer. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do, and I'll do it while I'm in this view, is just take this door that's a cased opening right now, and I'm going to change that to a hinge door okay. so you can see the difference between the two. 
that seems almost like a closet now compared to all the other things we've done. Yeah, I agree. I think what this does is by showing this to you in this meeting, yeah. it allows us to have the process of elimination of yeah. what you don't like and what you do like. Yeah. So it is. Because otherwise we're back. guessing. Yeah. There's different uh, shades of hardwood floor as well. And I know you liked a warm, and I picked a warm color, mm -hmm. warm stain. Does this look good to you too? Yeah. Let me show you that uh, difference with the tile floor. So okay, how's yeah, this one look good. to you guys, if I can make a suggestion? Yeah, the gray. That's a good neutral place to start, yep. don't you think? So Glenn, what will the tiles look like on a diagonal? Let's take a look at that. Mm. And let me go ahead and change this to a larger tile. Yeah. Right. Make this an 18-inch tile. That's the one Paul wanted, right? The yeah. 18. yeah. And then I'm gonna have, it gives me the option for the angle, so I'm going to go ahead and change that. So here you go. Here's the, I'm going to zoom in. So see the difference? Oh, definitely. Okay. Larger That's tile. That's the diagonal. Yeah, yep. on the diagonal. Yeah, that looks great. It's a grayish great. blue slate color. Mm. How, does that, how does that strike you? That looks great. I like that. Yeah, I like, like that, that a lot. Mm. One thing, oh. Kelly, you weren't sure of, and I wanted to make sure we address this. If you look at, I'll zoom in close, your sink area, yeah. this double hung window. Right. You wanted to look at the option of maybe having that as a casement window. Do you still want to see it that way? I do. So, from a visual perspective. What do you think? Better no, or not? No, I think he's right. I think the um, the double hung look great, but I think the casement um, maybe won't add as much light. I think from a design perspective, m you know, my opinion is the double hung works well in with this facade. Yeah. But if you like the casement, I think that could work too. Yeah. Now, can I see that from the outside? Sure. So I can see. Yeah. Yep. All right. So here, yeah. here it is on the outside. Okay. So how does that look on the overall facade here of the rear of the it house? It seems it seems kind of not cohesive. Hmm. It, it seems like it's its own separate thing. I, I like it better the way you guys said. Paul? Yeah, I, li I like the double hung. You were wondering what it would be like if that door was a fourth window. So do you want to still see what that would look like? In other words, this door here that comes out to the deck, we, maybe we can move it to the side. Yeah, no, I oh. think that I want to see that too. And so what do we do? Look from the inside to see if it changes yeah. the inside look? Yeah, because even the furniture layout in that sitting yeah. room is going to change. Will change potentially, right. So let's take yeah, a look at that. Yeah, because wouldn't that door come into the, the, where the TV is? Right. So I'm going to do a view. Mm -hmm. I've already removed the door. Mm -hmm. And even doing so, we can slide the couch over a little bit. But you'll see, yeah. does that flow, this new flow, work better or worse? You know, yeah. These are things we need to decide in this, you know, in this meeting. Yeah. And so by and eliminating windows. the door in this location mm. from a traffic pattern perspective, it makes things more difficult if the door is over to the side. So if we go back to the floor plan, I'll show you what I mean. So in coming, so here's your, you know, uh, new uh, patio area, yep. deck area. When you're bringing in meat from your grill, this is just a natural flow from that area into your kitchen. So as we conclude, has this uh, been a helpful uh, process by showing you in this way uh, your, your remodeling project? Oh, more than helpful. Uh, I'm totally amazed and blown away by what you've done. So uh, the next steps for us is we want to finalize uh, the, the pricing for what we've seen. So if you're happy with this design, we had the budget parameter that we talked about, which this is within. On average, it takes about two weeks for us to put the remodeling agreement together uh, with the final scope of work and all the specifications for the project that you'll review. And uh, once you look at that, sign that, we move forward to uh, the construction phase of this process. So, I'm very happy for the two of you. Thank you so much, Glenn. Thank you. It was I so great. Your time. It's been fantastic. Awesome. It really has. It was great. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. Yeah. My pleasure. Oh, I'm so excited. Let's go.